Well, what a wonderful occasion we have here this evening as we've all gathered to celebrate the marriage of Brittany and Jordan. It's a privilege to be here to celebrate their marriage along with friends and family that have loved them throughout their lives. Thanks for joining us. You may be seated. All right, guys, take a few minutes. Look at each other. Look at all your friends and family. Everyone <laughs> smile. It's good to see you guys here today. Well, this is finally your wedding day. We're here. Uh, think about how far we've come since that first date. It's been a while. Uh, that first uh, night of pizza and wine and sassafras. Very strong first date, I might add. <laughs> well done on your part. God has brought you both together today, and this is the first day in your life as a new family. Brittany, after falling for this tall, handsome, hardworking servant of a man, today is finally the day that you'll be united with him in marriage. And Jordan, after meeting this beautiful, patient woman and realizing that her heart and her spirit were so down to earth and perfect for you, you're now marrying the woman who God has given you to love and to cherish deeply. I asked each of you when you knew that you were in love with the other person. And here's what you said first. Brittany said this. She said, I could tell how nervous he was to tell me he loved me for the first time. I knew that I was falling for him early on, but in that moment, seeing him be vulnerable and actually nervous to talk about his feelings for me, it just solidified all of my love for him. I knew exactly how I felt in that moment, not necessarily because of the words, but because of his actions and mannerisms. My heart melted in that moment. Jordan said this, he said, I don't have an exact moment per se, but the more that I got to know her, the more I grew to love her. All the little things that make her into the woman that I love. She's so down to earth and easy to talk to, and I can't imagine life without her. Don't forget that first, before you become a husband and wife, first thing you must do is to look to Jesus. See, so you enter into a relationship with Him first. And because of that, the covenant that you're going to have is going to be that much stronger. So earlier in the ceremony, a few minutes ago, you both stood right here, okay? Remember, if you remember this, I asked you a question. You said, I do. When you were standing there in that moment, you actually weren't face to face with each other. You were standing side by side. And so you were accepting that you were entering into this covenant relationship and you were kind of standing before God and making this I do promise. I Both the Old and the New Testament give us descriptions of what a covenant truly is. There's always three things, okay? 
So we have a sacrifice that initiates the covenant. We have a symbol to remember the covenant. And we have a ceremony to renew the covenant. So, Brittany and Jordan, uh, live out this sacrifice, wear your symbol with pride and enjoy the ceremony that God has reserved for you guys. You both have the privilege of knowing God more because of the covenant that you're making today. And I can't be more excited for you guys. Because you've joined together in a covenant before God with these friends, I pronounce you husband and wife. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he turn his face towards you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Jordan, can you kiss your wife? Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, I'd like to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jordan Wallace. I still